Hey guys, uh, this is Manny. I'm going to go step by step on how to create a Windows um, free tier instance and add it to Systems Manager because I think um, some of the users, so some people that were commenting on the previous YouTube video were having issues. And I think I figured out why, but I just want to do it uh, live. So when I do instances, we're going to launch an instance. This is pretty default, right? Quick start. We use server 2019 base. The EBS T2 micro. It's going to be the compute that I want. This is going to be default. Um, I'm going to create a. I already have this one, but I'm going to create a new IAM role just so you guys can see. So I need to create a role. EC2. Okay. Really, everything with SSM is going to be it's full access and EC2 role. And I want to do this one too. Okay. Next tags. Um, type test instance. Okay. View, we're going to call it SSM test instance. Okay. And remember, this is a role that we created for our instance, and it has the policies that are listed here. Okay. SSM full access, just for them to have main admin. One of these is was going to be um, decommissioned, so I'm just putting all three. Okay. Now that we were here, I think we can go back to. I think it brought us here. Let's go back to EC2. Oh, wait. Where did? Ah, there we go. Okay. So let's just refresh this. And we created SSM in test instance. Okay. Add storage. Just the default 30 gigabytes root. Yep. Next, add tags. Um, we're just going to. Why not uh, type uh, instance, test instance, okay. Configure security group, we're just going to do the default source everywhere, RDP, yep, review and launch. Okay, let's quickly take a look at it and just launch it. Um, you can create any, any, you can create one if you want. Create a new key pair, um, test instance. You won't really need this, but just in case, download key pair. Great, it downloaded. Launch instance. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to view the instance um, just by default. Um, by default, the systems manager. Let me go to systems manager. I don't think we need all these open. Modify template. No, we don't need that either. Okay. Documentation. Systems manager about SSM. I just wanted to quickly go over this. SSM agent must be installed in each instance if you want to use systems manager. Okay, pretty obvious. The SSM agent is pre-installed by default on instances created from the following AMIs. All these. And this is the one that we use, right? Free tier. There are some exceptions, as you can see. But that's okay. Uh, we're not using that, right? And free tier is going to be like this anyways. Okay. Now let's go back to the instance. Okay. It seems like it's initializing. Um, it's still doing the status checks. But as you can see, T2 micro, the AMI name is that. And the IAM role is SSM test instance, which is the role that we just created together. Okay. Let me go back to, uh, we don't need volumes. Let's go back to Systems Manager. And I think before we were going to Sessions Manager. And I think that's, this is where you guys were probably not seeing it. Interesting. Interesting. Learn how to create and attach. 
blah, blah. I already did that. Okay. Let's go to manage instances. Ah, okay. So this is where that should show up. So let's get started here. Okay. Let's go back to the instance just to make sure that it's fully up now. Status checks, uh, we have to wait for the status check. So I'm just gonna pause the video until I come back and that finishes, okay? Okay guys, um, okay, so I came back, the instance finished, both status checks are two and two checks passed. Um, so now let's go back to systems manager. Um, okay, sessions manager is not showing anything. Um, you can try to start a session and it'll show you that there's an instance that has the agent version installed. Okay. And you should be able to start your session um, here. Okay, and it's, it's PowerShell, so. Okay, well, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely working. <laughs> All right, so we'll terminate, okay. If you guys can't see it here, um, I would follow the instructions that it gave you, All right? And, but uh, what I can, I would also do is go to managed instances here, okay? You should be able to see it here. You'll see the SSM agent ping status and you can also, I think, cannot, you can't connect from here. Oh, you can't. Cool. Where'd it go? Oh. Okay. Cool. It's just a terminate. That's fine. Um, and I think if you click on it, maybe you can even do other stuff too. Okay, perfect. This is actually, I really like this better. You might have to set up your fleet manager, which is something I did because you can see when you click on manage, manage instances, moves to a new instance manager called, capability called fleet manager. So you might have to set that up. Um, and the way I set that up is, I'm just gonna quickly go over this. Okay, so I went create, I got sent to quick setup. Click on create, you'll see these. I clicked on host management and just went default. I think here you can re leave that on Amazon CloudWatch. I wouldn't install it if you're just playing around. This might, in it could incur costs. Um, just don't do that. Um, and then choose the accounts and regions where this configuration will be deployed. I choose to, I chose entire region and you saw that I had literally every region added. I'll probably delete that, but I would say just current account and current region and all instances. That's what I would do. Or you can do custom, you can select what you want. I think this is just for like a fleet manager, you know, if you're doing prod and developer, how a lot of the a lot of the companies do now. So I would just choose the regions that you're gonna be deploying to and go from there. But uh, easy, current account, current region, all instances, boom, great. Okay. So I'm gonna create this one actually, which I should probably, I'll keep that one on. And I'm just saying just in case you guys get pushed to that. And I'm actually live. I'm going to delete this one. It's going to be a delete configuration. For deleting quick side, you just remove, remove all use. Okay, that's fine. This will probably take some time. But essentially, that's what I'm doing. As you can see, I chose entire organization and it went to all the regions automatically. So I think the ones, the one that we just created um, together, I think the local one will be will be best. But after that, you should be able to see your managed instances here um, and deploy. Okay, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. And of course, if you wanna just decommission, you don't wanna deal with it anymore, remember to terminate your instance and then afterwards remove the volume if you have one. And it doesn't if it doesn't automatically delete once you terminate your instance, okay? If you have any other questions, um, uh, let me know, write in the comments. Thanks.